What is the difference between loose, pressed and finishing powders? This is the ultimate powder tutorial. As an oily skin gal, powders are literally my best friend and I have tried so many on the market. So I'm going to give you a guide on what powders are the best, where to use them on your face and which ones to avoid. If I was going to start from scratch and I didn't have any of my powders, the first powder that I'd pick up is a translucent powder. I love the one for Laura Mercier or if you're on a budget, this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder is amazing. It's really good for evening out your skin texture and also if you get shiny, it's small enough to put in your bag and touch up with throughout the day. I take a little bit on a little powder puff and I just set very lightly underneath my eyes and this just helps set all your concealers so it doesn't crease throughout the day also because this is a translucent powder it won't oxidize or change the color of your foundation look at that before and after powder works wonders you can also bump it up a notch and get a powder that actually has a little bit of coverage the charlotte tilbury ones are amazing i use the shade number one underneath the eyes and it also helps brighten up at the same time 